Alright guys, so this is gonna be a little bit of a different one. You guys know how it goes. The game is called Last Day of Lazarus. So this is a demo out right now. And the game is gonna be released early 2022. It's gonna be very, very interesting. I'm a little bit um, unused to this, having a camera while recording but we're gonna see how it goes because I promised you guys that I would pu put up a camera next time I play uh, horror games after tall poppy uh, if you haven't seen it check it out it's a hilarious horror game but anyways we are gonna go into uh, well we go in as Lazarus and we're going into the apartment uh, of his deceased mother it's a pretty great uh, dark story I would say I think she passed away thanks to alcohol and stuff like that so uh, I haven't read up on too much because I want to experience this together with you guys and uh, yeah experience the story as we go you know I think I'm uh, as ready as I will be I hope the audio is good I hope it's in in the on the right level and everything like that so let's see how this goes hey eh? you know what my name is Fisk enjoy the video Yes? Who is this? It's me, Ludmilla, your sister. Listen, you have to come home. Ludmilla? What happened? It's Mom. She... She's dead. What? What the hell are you talking about? She changed herself. God damn it. Are you telling me the truth? You think I lie about such a thing? She's dead as Lazarus. She's hanging by a rope in the closet. Oh my god. I'm so scared. It's dark and raining, and, and I'm all by myself. What do I do? What do you do? Why the hell did you call me in the first place? Call the damn police or an ambulance. Please tell me you'll come home. I don't know. What? What the hell do you mean? You have to come home. Our mother is dead, and you just... Listen, I can't. Not now. I have a job, and it's not the sort of thing I can walk away from. To hell with your job. You left me and mom just like father did. You're a selfish bastard. Listen, if I could, I would come home right away. But I really can't. I'll come home by Christmas, okay? No, it's not okay at all. You have to come at once. I can't wait that long. I'm all by myself here. Why can't you understand? I'm sorry. Lazarus? Are you there? Oh Jesus God. Christ. What do I do? It seems like we're, we're a dick. Yeah, we're a bastard. <laughs> well put. So, it was a little bit darker than I thought it would be. I'm, uh, Jesus Christ. So, before you watch anything further, if you're watching with your kids or anything like that, if you're... A this old dumb click left away. behind when I turned 16. I didn't miss it. Why the hell didn't I just come to the funeral? That last job was a mess. Now I need to lay low for a while. I hope at least my sister will forgive me. I should have bought some flowers. She must be expecting me. Aside from going to work, she never leaves the apartment. Ludmila, I'm home. Okay, let's see how this works. I don't like this right off the bat. It gives me a very, very cramped feeling, and with the knowledge of this being a horror game, <laughs> I, do, I don't like it. It's very cramped. And also, it reminds me of that, uh, what is it called, PT? The Silent Hill kind of teaser. I uh, I did uh, turn up the brightness a little bit for you guys, so it's not too dark. It has nothing to do with me being super scared, and I want to see every nook and cranny I can see. Alright, where do we begin? It's beautiful, though. Right off the bat like that. Alright, we can see our own body. Look at that. Fancy coat and everything. So, it seems like we're in Romania 1999. Mom's funeral. Why would you write that there? I don't know. Is that voices? This is the place where my mother took her life. In here? Are you kidding me? It's a this is a shrine, isn't it? That's what you call it. I think there's something hidden in this. I don't think she took her life just like that. Lord Miller. Light bulb? 
All right, let's continue in. I think we're gonna leave this open. Might be a stupid idea. I don't know. Uh, if you guys don't know, I don't like horror games. I don't like. Oh, I like a good horror game with a story, but I I can't handle getting scared. Scared, you know. So we'll see how this is gonna go. Strange. Prayer for deliverance from evil. All right. Why is that strange? All right, let's continue. Oh, holy crap, dude. This is actually beautiful, ain't it? It's a very beautiful. Often called a dictator, the new president has won the people's vote of confidence through unprecedented measures. In did that just turn on? He announced the increase of the minimum. It did. I didn't do it, right? For millions of people, the Christmas celebrations turn to feasts as the increased income brings a complete life change for them. The measure has also put an end. Let's turn that off. I, I don't want to listen. I don't want to listen. <laughs> Okay, we... Let's check this out. What is this? That's a camera, right? Found an old camera. Do I want to keep that? Do I end... Oh, okay, okay. So I do have an inventory. Uh, chapter 1. I guess that's what the whole demo is going to be about. Remember this old thing? This camera reminds me of my first beating I took from Dad. I was, a, I was around 10 years old. A distant relative visited on, uh, us on Christmas and bought us this uh, thing as a present. Even though today it may not be worth much, it was quite an expensive camera back in the old days. This thing would require a film cartridge, but we had only one. Dad quickly used it to uh, take some pictures of, uh, of us. However, I remember that he wasn't impressed and threw them away. He said that we'd rather not keep memories of our family as there's nothing special about us. I never understood what he meant. But I would often take the camera and pretend to take picture of mom and dad and even Lodmilla, who was just a toddler at that time. Damn, this is actually really goddamn dark. I don't know, man. Pri Once, I surprised dad when he came back from work, pretending to take a picture of him. He lashed at me and slapped me, throwing the camera out the window. He started repeating that our family does not deserve to be preserved in memories. Since we are just worthless scums, that we are wretches and sinful. I never understood his rage, but I, f but I forgave him. I searched for the camera that night and I found it. I tried to put it back together, but to no avail. A few days later, Dad left. Okay, that's a little bit of a story. For sure, then we actually get to know a little bit of uh, the relationship together, like that we had with our father, I guess. This is another shrine. I'm at the cemetery. I'll be home soon. Ludmila, isn't it a bit too late for that? Did you guys hear that? I think it's noises from the neighbors, right? My dear children, even if your memories of your father is vague, I hope you remember how loving he was. You do, you do, don't you? A gentleman, always ready to give his life for all of us. Lazarus, my dearest son, I understand your frustration and resentment towards us, but believe me, it's not easy for us either. Your sister and I are alone against a world that does not see us with good eyes. The people are gossiping. I want you to come home. Let the three of us be together again. You, me, Lord Miller. We could mobilize and find Vladimir. Let's convince your father to come home. Oh, how I wish I could. Our, lo our love was sincere. Some would say obsessive even. Lazarus, don't be like your father. Don't leave us all alone. Come home. God bless you, mom. Dude, this is so miserable, man. That's horrible. Well, that's pretty, at least. Jesus. It's so hard to see anything. Is that Jesus? Oh, is this the family? No, it's not, right? That might be us. Let's check the table. It's 12. I guess that's uh, p.m. or a.m. Right? Yeah, let's. Quite a lot of pills. Mom had a disturbing addiction to painkillers. 
Ludmilla should have thrown them away. There's something about this voice actor, like it's a little bit off, but I do recognize his voice. I can't really put it where where uh, where I've heard it before. This was my father's typewriter. After he left us, our mother started writing weird religious poems and giving them to the neighbors. It made us look like a family of fanatics. So it seems like the mother l has like lost it, right? My dear children, I am alone, I am hurt, I am old. I feel like my uh, fighting will be over soon. But I still feel, in the depth of my soul, that I will not close my eyes until I hug my beloved Vladimir once more. I will never understand why he did what he did. Faith in God has messed with his mind. What sort of man, father of two children, leaves his family and goes to the monastery to become a monk? I believe in God too. Yes, know that. It is not just for show that I hang icons on the walls of my house. It is not just because I'm bored that I go to church. It is not that I don't have anything better to do than to burn incense all day long. Incense, oh, sorry. I can hear something to our left here and I don't like it at all. Father Abraham knows me well. He also knows your father, but he doesn't say a word. Why? Dear God, you do understand my suffering, don't you? I'm so close to him, yet still so far. Dear God, hear my prayers. Bring Vladimir back to home to his wife and children. Together, we will build your monastery like no other. Mom. I don't like the feeling of this, dude. Only the thing... We've been into, what is it, one room, two rooms, and I'm already creeped out. Okay, that's locked. That's just uh, like a balcony, right? Oh, look at that. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. A little bit of snow falling. It's cozy in some way, and also yet so goddamn terrifying. It's locked. Okay, that's locked. Did we miss something? Oh, we can do this. Damn it! <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ, I was about to uh, to get myself or give myself a whiplash. We did find this though, didn't we? Okay, light bulb, let's put it in. There you go. Use the light bulb. Very good. Look at that. That's you can see the reflections. That's nice. Alright, that was way too loud, alright. Uh I thought I saw something. Here we go. Alright, we got a new room. I don't want to, dude. Seriously, though. I don't... I really don't want to. Just the ambient noises with people running around up above. Don't like it at all. Okay, this is locked. Another Christmas tree. Looks beautiful. Enough. A long hallway. Something is gonna go down here. Trust me. Dude, Jesus, I was about to scare the living crap out of myself. Look at that. All right, let's turn that off. We're not going to play it. That's going to... I'm calling that as well. This one is going to play by itself. Hands down. Locked. 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 Who are these people? Is that us? I feel like that's us. Lazarus, right? Hmm. It's locked. What is I that? dim light coming from inside. There's something going on, at least. There is some mis mystery to all of this, and I don't like it. Oh, dude, look at that kitty! All right, we found a cat. You're living all alone? How the hell can you eat this thing? It looks like it stood here for days. The stench is overwhelming. What the hell, Ludmila? Dude, I don't want this, man. This look. Hello? Lazarus? You finally arrived. Yes, a, a few moments ago. I thought you'd be home. Where are you? I'm beside her mother. Are you still at the cemetery? You should hurry up and catch the bus, or else... Don't worry, I can handle it on my own. Listen, I brought you money. Enough for you to start a new life somewhere else. There's something I weird going about. That I am what she said? Very sorry. There's no need to be sorry. I have forgiven you already, Lazarus. We all make mistakes from time to time. 
I have my own sense. Oh, thank you. Listen, you should hurry up. It's cold and dark already. By the way, where are you calling from? Ludmilla, are you still there? Just wait for me. I'll see you soon. I don't want to turn that. Don't turn around, dude. Ha! Huh. Come on, man. I just. It was like pulling a bandaid. I just turned around. I really didn't want to. Oh, I don't like that. So, yeah, there's someone in the apartment. I don't know if that's a ghost or not. All right. So, the, the thing I was talking about, Ludmilla, she was saying, I'm still beside my mom. But her, she's buried. We saw that in the cutscene, right? All right, let's see here. What we got here in the kitchen. Oh, we can open that. Thunder during a snowstorm? I don't know, dude. Is that even possible? Cool, we're gonna leave it open. We gotta air this out. How's it going, kitty? Can we do something with him? You look <gasps> a little rough, old boy. I hate to break this to you, but you fit perfectly in this old decrepit place. Jesus. Did you just call him old and decrepit? What should we call the cat? <laughs> oh, Jesus. What is this? Another one? Strange, isn't it? These days, it seems that even the sim simplest thing are better understood when written, not when spoken. I remember each Christmas, you visited mum and me. How you bring expensive gifts, money, clothes, jewelry, and we sold it all. Some of it we gave to charity. We didn't need, o we didn't need any of it. Sometimes I sit and think where you get all of this stuff from. Valuable antique objects. We cared little for money. We just wanted to have someone close to us. A paternal figure. Someone whom to speak to. Someone whose shoulder we could, uh, could cry on. Yet, you thought you could fulfill this need by showering us every so often in money. You understood nothing, Jon Snow. You did exactly like your father. Okay, so these... It seems like these are to, to us. Like, it's, it's for us, right? Oh, dude, look at the, that. That's an espresso maker, man. You get the best coffee out of these. Seriously, I'm about to buy one myself. If you guys haven't tried it, you need... If you like coffee, you gotta try that. Okay, guys, it seems like we're gonna have to walk out. Um, Yeah, we're gonna walk out in the hallway once again. That is still closed, right? There's no keys around here. Wait, what's that? That is a key, though, isn't it? Picked up train key. I'm just waiting for someone to uh, step out right here. <laughs> what the fuck? And what are you doing? I don't know where. What the fuck is that? Sorry, but damn. What the hell is this thing? Just closing the door, dude. I'm so. What is going on? Okay, I didn't like that at all. Sorry, neighbors. What the fuck? Was that mum, you think? And what was this on the floor then? I don't know if we want to check the uh, the closet where where mum was found though. Um Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, it seems like it's open, eh? Wait, is that a duffel bag? That's new, right? Dude, that's bike is lit. I didn't see that before. I was just waiting for the old ladies to stand behind here. Okay, so what do you want us to do? Let's go around and see if we can find... Can we actually walk out? Dude, seriously though, you you're going back in? Alright, so after seeing some old lady and that thing on the floor, you, ch you choose to go back in? Alright, there, dearest brother, as you can see, I'm not home. I'm grow... I grow... I've grown hateful of this place since that horrible night. I'll be at the cemetery, lighting a candle at our mother's grave. I hope I'll catch the bus back before 9pm. 
If not, don't worry. I am all grown up. I can watch after myself. Sometimes I have that feeling of jumping on a train and going far, far away. Who knows? Perhaps I'll buy myself a ticket tonight. Don't worry about me. I have taken the risk to leave the entrance door unlocked for you. See you hopefully soon. Your sister Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Lord Miller. I missed that before, right? Alright, back out in the hallway. We can't do anything with this. We didn't see a train or anything like this, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? There are cracks on this wall. And a foul stench coming from behind. Oh, dude, you know what? Wait, there's bloods on the wall now, isn't it? That that wasn't right there before. Let's put on some music. I'm just waiting for something to stand behind me right there. Okay, it's still music. I thought someone was breathing. This is madness. She even locked the bathroom door. Jesus, that scared me. What the fuck is going on, dude? What is that? What? Am I losing my mind? Mate, There's I think no you are. I should call the police right away. That's some sort of alien, isn't it? Call the police. Let's call uh, let's call Ina. Hello, what's your emergency? You need to send someone. There's there's a creature in my bathroom. A hideous monster. Something like... So please calm down and try to speak louder. I can't speak louder. That thing is right next to me, just behind the door. There's a horrible thing here. The earthquake must have caused it to come out. Sorry. Sticking the voice acting. The toilet. <laughs> it's cracking me up. There's black stuff smeared on the walls. Please, send some... Okay, I'm going to ask you to calm down and back away from the door. Try to arm yourself with a knife if possible. Are you kidding? It's a bloody monster. How would a knife help me? Damn you, just send someone. Oh god, it's happening again. Please, calm down. You are not the only emergency. There are reports from all over the city about abnormal activities and strange occurrences. You are not our first priority. No, no! Okay. Damn. Very polite, very polite. What the fuck is going on? I want to know what's going on. Are we going out? That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> that was. The decision to close the country's borders has sparked controversy, especially among ordinary people. The fact that only rich citizens with political connections seem to have access to documents that would allow them to leave the country at any time has enraged the public opinion. For those less fortunate, it seems the only way to obtain the needed papers is through illegal means, for large sums of money paid to unscrupulous profiteers who know the right pockets to grease. Concerns have been expressed by many that such restrictions imposed by the new- Wait a second. That's the bus that should have brought Ludmilla home. Oh god. There were burnt corpses inside. Unrecognizable. Ludmilla, are you still alive? 
So there's something going on. I, I, I haven't melt or I haven't taken that to me yet. The things that happened to in the apartment, you know, everything's shaking and I try to get out and I open the closet and I, me, I black out. <laughs> Dude, that scared the living crap out of me. What is she doing in the closet? So I pretty much just ran for the other closet and the book was burning. And now we're in a car and looking for Lord Mila. The bus is burning. Okay, this is okay. I think I'm up to speed. There was a lot of things going on there. Uh, so, so far, the voice act acting is cracking me up. I. I I don't know what to feel, but the story itself is kind of intriguing. I, I am in, I, I, like, I want to know what's going on, you know? Jesus. Even though I'm all sweaty. Are we going through a big old trunk? Wait. Can we go down here? No, we can't. All right. So that's the bus burning corpses. Hopefully that's not Lord Miller. Uh, it seems like the road is flooded. So we're gonna be going through this big trunk instead. I don't know. I thought this was would be more ghosts. But we've seen monsters as well. I don't know what that was on the floor or... What is this? Or in the bathroom. Let's go through here. What the hell happened to this place? That's a military ship, isn't it? What is that? What is going on? What is that? Oh, that's the church that we saw. Oh, that's a soldier. Lies. Brave men. Too long you have suffered under the rule of this oppressive state. Today, this horrible re regime will meet its end. With the, with the election of the new president, the people declare war on uh, all hideous phantasms? That have overshadowed our freedom. Man has to be free. Soldiers, we are fighting for freedom. Rise your flags and carry on. Uproot old, uproot the old system and build the new world or a new world. Down with the relics of the old times. Your children will be perfect. In their eyes you will be like gods. And gods, indeed, you will become. This sacrifice must be done. Thousands of people will die today, but their death will not be in vain. Die tonight and be reborn tomorrow. So there's a lot of things going on right now, and I don't know what's happening. And I, I feel very uneasy about that. Let's continue. So what is that? Is that a gun? What has done this to all of these, though? Dead soldiers? What is that? Something's like uh, you put the... It's like into an antenna or something? Oh, it's a battery? Looks like a generator that's connected to the tank. Doesn't seem to work, though. Wait, to that? Let's put a battery on that, dude, and... And get ourselves a tank. Can we do that? No, nope. all right. I was hoping for a tank, but... Can you hear me? What the hell happened here? Listen. Can you hear me? Have you seen a young girl near the cemetery? They have slaughtered us. We must sink that cursed battle cruiser. What? Listen, I can't. There's a terminal down there that will remotely control this tank. Go and activate it. I cannot get involved in this. Listen, you selfish idiot. That girl is probably dead if she was caught in the crossfire. But something far more terrible is afoot. A demented maniac is on a rampage of slaughtering innocent people. If you sink the cruiser, we may all still have a chance to live. Do something good while there's still okay. time. So I have this, uh... I have this, uh... I have this theory. So that demented person, or the crazy person that's going around killing people, I think that might be Lord Miller. What do you think? Might be, right? Do you hear that? We heard that before as well, didn't we? MP5? Feel like we should have picked that up, eh? This is legit war. 
did I pick that up? You saw the thing that I, uh, like the weapon inside of him or in his back? We picked that up, I think. Okay, what? Something is gonna happen, dude. Icon of Christ. I was sure something would be in here, dude. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Let's continue. I'm stressed out, dude. <laughs> I'm, s I'm stressed out, man. I cannot lie. All right, let's see if we can get over here. Is that even possible? Oh, that's why. I thought we forgot something. Jesus Christ, are we actually going down into a bunker? But it feels like the the carpet was on top of that, right? So no no one should be down here, yes? Right? Alright, there we go. Stalin, how's it going? Wait, this is a wake. I thought we would have a bunker down here. Looks like it's missing a few components. Can we grab that? Okay, we can't grab that. It seems like... Shouldn't I be able to put the battery in this one, maybe? Nothing Looks right like there. Okay, let's get up again. Components. We good? Okay, so what is this? This morning from the... Uh, this morning for the first time, we saw the lightning through the thick fogs. There's something unnatural about it. That's for sure. I see General Sot... Sort of, uh, curse, cursing when he uh, rises his eyes towards the sky. With each mission he finish, the strange phenomena seems to intensify more and more. I don't care what the scientists say. To me, it looks more like a sign from God. I remember my grandma told me, when I was a child, about the prophecies in the Bible, about the signs that will show at the end of the world. The air around us is charged with their energy and it seems that it is about to obliterate everything any minute now. Below I can see a greasy smudge, CRBR4. Okay, let's yoink that. You, oh, I think I saw another, another little note back here, right? Oh, I didn't read that. Did you have anything to say? No, no, you're good, you're just chilling out. Just hanging about. I think we found everything here, right? Alright, now when we have the codes, let's get down there again. So this kind of turned it from a horror into an adventure game, it feels like. Okay, there can't be anything below. Okay, we good. Here we go. Is anyone there? It's me, the soldier on the beach. Right, I'm down in some shelter. Good job. It seems you still have a heart. Bastards. They told us we were coming here to free the monks. But when we got here, they ordered us to kill them all. How could we? But there isn't much time left. See that terminal beside you? It controls the tank you've seen on the beach. I see it. There must be a way to connect to the tank. There's a password somewhere. One of the dead soldiers had it. Maybe he wrote it on one of his notes. When you find it, type it in the terminal and follow the instructions. I understand. But listen. Such a thing. What? I can't hear you. They're probably listening to our conversation. Just hurry up. Remote control. Let's see. Oct 23. Damn it. No fuel? Ah, there we go. Yoink. We got this, boys. We got this. Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, they listen to us, all right. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna. Okay, he's gone. Where did he go then? Now it's not a good idea to remain here in the open. Going down again. Is it down here with us now? You think? We good? All right, we good. Come on! Just 
destroy that damn cruiser. Is this even working? Oh, things go. Okay, okay, we're good. I thought something something was gonna jump out on us, dude. Are you still alive? You've done it. The cruiser is sinking. Great job. It must have been an hour since the explosion. I woke up and tried to find a way out. My knees were shaking. Outside, the desolation filled the air. I wasn't sure anymore if that was snow around me, or was it ashes? I managed to escape to my car, but Ludmilla was nowhere to be found. I barely made it home alive. My back hurts like hell. It is not true, alright? They are trying to lure you into believing this nonsensical conspiracy. They are fanatics. Who in their right mind would believe that in this day and age someone would want to exterminate the community of defenseless monks? Seriously, there is scientific proof that in the Kalima region there are surges of methane gas leaking from the ground almost each year. The huge explosions were caused by the gas suddenly catching fire, not because of a military action. I know that some would like to believe that a Norwegian society is upon us, but that is simply not the truth. What the hell? So they're trying to cover it up. And I almost got myself killed out there. I'm not even sure if what I did was after all the right thing to do. And I have no idea how to find Ludmilla, or if something happened to her. So we're back. Okay, so now we're back to the house. Or the apartment. I don't like that at all. I felt free because we went out of it. I felt more relaxed. But here we are again. And they're covering something up. I don't know what happened. We tried to find Lord Miller and they killed three monks. We read something about monks, which our dad went to become. And here we go. We got the key for the train. Back to the future? I wasn't just waiting for that. Alright. Let's hope. Like factory has been reopened. Look at that. Robotics. Alright, let's get out of here. It's locked. Damn it. All these pills must have interfered with my sister's mental health. Let's see if we can get out now then. It's locked, dude. I these dolls, man. They're creeping me out. Our mother always had something mysterious in her eyes. Fucker. Why do all the doors need to be locked in the house? Who Can is I locking them? That is the question, though, isn't it, dude? Infestation is spreading everywhere. Hello, Ludmilla. Um, no. This is Lazarus. I'm her brother. Mr. Lazarus? Oh, thank God you answered. My name is Laura. I'm a journalist at the local newspaper. But don't worry, I didn't call to ask any uncomfortable questions. That's good to know. And why did you call? You see, I'm a friend of your sister's. We got close after your mother's death. But I haven't been able to get a hold of her for a while now. What do you mean? She hasn't been answering the phone. I came to her apartment the other day and found the entrance door open. I went in, but there was no sign of her. Only the living room was open. The rest of the apartment was locked up. Is she with you? No. I talked to her on the phone a few hours ago. She said that she is at the cemetery. What? That makes no sense. Why would she go to the cemetery at this hour? It's outside the city, plus the whole place was turned upside down by General Gotov. Listen, Mr. Lazarus, I'll drop by to discuss this right away. We need to find out what happened to her. Let's hope I can- Oh my her. god, cat! You don't seem to care that much about all of this, do you? <sighs> That's intestines. That is intestines on- is hanging from the goddamn ceiling, dude. Come on, man. And these dolls? That is locked again. Oh my god. Why did we go back here? Was it even us that decided to go back? Only, she said only the living room is open, right? I was trying to see if there's anything different right here, dude. Yeah, this is spreading. This reminds me of uh, Resident Evil. Was it 7? 
solid stuff, man. Oh, just just gonna open all these covers right here. Something this triggered me to uh, want to play uh, home renovation. No, what was that? Ho uh, house flippers, right? That shit is amazing. Way more relaxing as well, eh? All right, it's nothing here. Let's get back into the living room, dude. This damn door. That door? Oh my god! What is going on? Where are those things coming from? Damn it, I'm stuck in this place. As long as they are stuck to the floor, I'm just fine. You know, I'm just fine. If they're stuck to the floor, I'm okay with it. Wait, wait, what? This open now? Kind of want to go in there though. I can't lie. Just gonna close that. <laughs> Lord Miller. Lord Miller, I didn't know you were home. Thank God. I was afraid I lost you. God, help, help, Lazarus, help. Stay calm. We need to go to the closest. Oh my god. Thank you for playing this demo, Lost Day of Lazarus. I kind of want to know what is what is going on, to be honest. Even though if it's not what I actually thought it would be. Uh, sure, I there was, it was a scary. It feels like a little bit of an adventure as well. Uh, and it just ended with us falling down to our neighbors. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoy this... Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We are uh, so close to hit 10,000 subscribers, which is amazing. The goal was to hit that before the end of the year. So that that is crazy. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more horror games, let me know in the comments below. All right, that's it. Now take care of yourself. Stay away from all of this stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.